Oh, snap. Oh, the, I'm, I'm free to go? Whoa, look at the map. Look, at, there's a mini map. There's a mini map in Pokemon. Isn't that crazy? There's a mini map. I know it's like, wow, it's just a mini map. This is Gen 9. We, we've we went nine generations without a mini map. Now we have a mini map. Let's, let's check out Rotom Phone. Your Rotom Phone? Or, yeah, your Rotom Phone. The handy Rotom Phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldea region. Adding apps to it gives trainers access to a variety of useful functions. It sounds really similar to the... I forgot what it was called, but the phone from, uh, what's it called? Gen 2, Gold Silver Crystal. Heart Gold Soul Silver. Using the map app, you can add useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the map cursor over your own cursor, you can, from side to side, rotate your view. Left stick to move and magnify. The Flying Taxi. It can take you to some places you've visited before. So this, So Fly is replaced with the Flying Taxi. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was pushing buttons. Oh, this tells you what Pokemon are available in the certain routes? So this isn't the first time that's happened. That existed in Oras as well. In Oras, whenever you would enter a route on the bottom screen, it would show you which Pokemon are available. They would be like like blacked out if you haven't caught them yet or, or seen them. Kind of like in like the Pokemon anime show, they're like, who's that Pokemon? That's kind of like what it was in like the Oras. I don't know if that's what this is. That's what it looks like. I thought that Pokemon that he showcased in the beginning, that like fluffy thing was going to be a starter. But I guess not. I guess it's like resides on like the route. Maybe it's a normal fire type. That'd be interesting. Do we have a normal fire type before Gen 9? Is there a way to snap the camera in front of me? Whoa, you can zoom out. Just getting a, a hang, you know, feel for the controls. Oh, there you go. That's how you snap. It's what do they call this? L. So there's three of these bad boys. Does the mini map literally tell me where that Pokemon is located? I don't know which one to select. But it looks like the Pokemon follow you. I I think. Dude, if we have follow Pokemon, that would be so cool. I hope so. I'm getting my hopes all up. Let me not. Hmm. Hmm. I want to see the Pokedex entry. I don't have a Pokedex, though. The professor didn't tell me any, or the that dude didn't tell me anything about them. He just said, oh, this is the, the, the grass cat Pokemon. And that's it. Nothing about the personality at all. Left me out, out here to out here out to draw. Man, tough decision. Do I just get this water type? I I very rarely have used a water starter on my first playthrough of a Pokemon game. I'm trying to think. Oh, I I the last time I did it was Pop Pop Poplio and Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I think that was oh no and and Squirtle and Red and Blue. So okay, let me go in order. In order on, on first playthrough in order, Gen One Red Blue, LB had a Squirtle. First playthrough. This is first playthrough for all of them. Squirtle. So, in fact, let me grab my notebook so I can I can tally up and see which one. Whichever one that I use, starter that I use the least on my first playthrough, that's the one I'll, I'll get this time. I feel like I might actually end up going fire with the fire because I, I rarely get the fire types. Because I feel like a lot of people get the fire types. We'll use this paper. All right. Gen 1. Red, blue, yellow. LB. Okay, so grass... Fire, water. Gen 1, red, blue, yellow. Was Squirtle. So one for, one for water. Gen 2 was Chikorita. So one for grass. Gen 3 was Trico. Two for grass. Gen 4, I got a Piplup. Two for water. That's looking like it's going to be fire. Gen 5, I got Tepig though. So one for fire. Gen 6. What did I get Gen 6? 
Oh, I got the I got the grass. What was what was the grass type called? It was called it was called chess pin. Chess pin. Three for grass. Gen seven, sun and moon. I got Poplio. Three for water. And even an Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, I still got. I'm not gonna count that though. Gen eight, the Geller region. I got the grass type. I forgot what it was called. Dude, it, 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 I'm getting the fire type. I got four in grass, and I have three in water, and I've only used the fire type once. On my first playthrough, on my first playthrough, I'm not talking about any, any post playthroughs. All right, fire type one it is, the fire croc. Fire croc. I forgot what his name was. Come here, you. That's his cry. Oh, wait. I don't, I don't have to pick yet. Okay, let me hear the cries. I'm trying to select it. Oh, I can't. They're, they're super duper following me. They're really following. But that, that could be unique to just these three right now. I don't have a sprint. Oh, whoa, whoa. What is this button I just pushed? <gasps> Wait, is this like, like, let's just Arceus where you have to hold the button to like prep your Pokeball and then throw it? Because like the camera zoomed in. Like, oh, wait, I am running now. Oh, I unlocked running now. This is Cabo Poco. It's not much. Just a little pinch of community, but it's home. Cabo Poco. That's the name of this little area. Is this the science is amazing guy? Yep, here he is. The power of science is amazing. If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together. I forgot you could do that on here. Up to four of you at a time. I literally forgot that was a thing in here. Are they are they following me still? Then I'm smoking them. Don't forget to follow LV. Don't forget to sub to my YouTube. Hey.